Real progress is being made in a laboratory in Canada. Here, the full significance of the physical laws of light and space have become clear to John Hutchison, and he is utilizing this knowledge to produce cause and effect experiments which lead to an understanding of the harmony of nature. Science, in harmony with the laws of nature for the good of mankind, will hold great values in many fields and would advance its course beyond our present comprehension. John Hutchison has been working in the areas of electromagnetic forces and the changes in the molecular structure of materials for many years. He has in this time achieved a breakthrough in anti-gravity knowledge, providing spectacular examples of heavy objects flying through the air without any visible signs of propulsion. He has also made amazing discoveries concerning the alteration of compositions of materials by subjecting them to a form of electromagnetic bombardment. But looking at something which you know shouldn't be happening. The result of these experiments showed in graphic detail metal heating to a near liquid state without heat. Hard metals would turn into soft rubbery objects, proving that any substance could change its form if the science involved was understood. I immediately realized that this had tremendous significance. It has significance in space, it had military implications, and its understanding could possibly open up a whole new energy source. Hutchison is one of the growing number of scientists who realize that by applying physics to the natural laws of the universe, science will be taken into areas previously unrecognized. John Hutchison's achievement will give science a new momentum as it moves into the next century. Some of the work of uh, the lone inventor, uh, John Hutchison, in Canada, Vancouver, Canada. Hutchison takes two Tesla coils and uh, essentially puts in the center of them a target, which in every target has certain nonlinearities, and then blasts away with these two coils at them. Basically, what he establishes is an electromagnetic fighting itself, electromagnetic forces fighting themselves. And gravitational force is made when a gravitational potential is made when electromagnetic forces fight themselves to a draw, when, in other words, the gradients become zero. The, uh, the gradient vectors or the resultants become zero, but the two forces are still in there slugging it out. All the energy is still going. The work is still going, but it's trapped locally. That's internal energy. That's what gravity is. And the Whitaker paper tells very well how to do that. So when John got things just right, he didn't have control of it, absolute control, but we, he bored in there with persistence. And when he got things just right to get the forces to fight to a draw, and there was the right nonlinearity in the target, he would have levitation of things, even 64 pounds. He would also, another thing you do with such a thing is you cause uh, the magnetostatic potential to change a vacuum. In other words, that's pole, an unfortunate name in magnetism. But uh, in other words, it causes deposits of monopoles inside uh, materials such as metals. And you'll literally have the monopoles repel each other and you'll have the explosive separation of metals into all kinds of grains and structures according to the waves in the Tesla coils <clears throat> that you're bombarding it with. And so he produced uh, magnificent breaks, Hutchison did, in metals and splits as if it were Venetian blinds. And uh, another thing it does, since this stuff comes from the nucleus out, it doesn't go through the electron shells, its medium is the nuclei. Uh, what you have then is you have changes in the atomic nuclei and which result in lattice changes. You have the production of alloys which cannot be made in this world with, natural pro with normal processes. And some of those alloys appeared in John Hutchinson's work as a result of that kind of bombardment. Another thing you have is uh, once charged with scalar radiation, the, and the nuclei then continue to discharge over a long period of time. And so the material continues to change, alloy form and so forth, over a period of even a year. And you had those changes occur in his work also. He was reproducing and has been reproducing uh, some of the work in the Tesla and even some of it going further. But that's what he's doing. What he's doing is real. And uh, unfortunately, most people regard John Hutchinson as being a little bit off and not really understanding electromagnetics and not really understanding a Tesla coil. Nothing would be further than the truth. He's doing the real electromagnetics. He's doing the kind of electromagnetics they don't know anything about. He's doing electrogravitation and real Tesla.